Good day, dear pupils in class 10. Are you ready for English lesson? Good job. Today we have lesson 2A, Word Literature, second part, Consolidation. Before starting our lesson, let's check your home task. Your first home task was activity number 2. You had to find out five words about literature. Did you find? Let's check in that case. Novel Writer Inspiration Publish Celebrate Activity number five. I gave you as a home task to revise the text about William Shakespeare because today I have to check your understanding. Are you ready? Let's revise text one more time together. It is filling gap activity, which we did last time. Did you remember? Good job. Let's try to read with me. William Shakespeare was born in Stateford on April 23, 1564. His father John Shakespeare was an important man in the town. William didn't come from a poor family. When he was 18, William married Anne Hasway in Stateford, but he didn't want to stay there. He wanted to be an actor, and the Bassiatures were in what place? What city? Thank you, in London. So, in 1587, William went to London where he worked as an good job, actor in a theater called The Rose. He began to write what place for the actors. He wrote Romeo and Juliet, Julius Caesar, Richard II, Antony and Cleopatra, and others. Everyone liked his place and he became famous. When, when James I became a king in 1603, Shakespeare worked for him and performed his place for the king and his friends. The last part. He also worked at the famous, the name of the theater, Globe Theater. His last play was presented, it was Henry VIII, there was a, thank you, a gun in his play and the fire from the gun burned the theater down. In 1611, Shakespeare went to back, what place, Birth place, Stateford. He wanted to live there with his family, but he died on April 23. Good job, 1616. He was only 52 years old. I hope you all remember the data of the text. And now I have questions. This is from your textbook. You should answer the questions. Are you ready? Let's try to answer together. How old was Shakespeare when he got married? Thank you. He was 18 years old, the second. What was his wife's name? Well done. And Hasway, the third one. Why did Shakespeare go to London? Your answer? Well done. He wanted to be an actor and the best theaters were in London. The fourth one. What was the name of the first theater he worked in? Excellent. The Rose. The last question. What was he famous for? Good job. Everyone liked his place. That's why Shakespeare was very famous. One more activity. From your textbook 6 on page 164. In this activity, you have to remember the text and write main activity in these years. You have a minute. Are you ready? 
Time is going. Thank you, dears. Are your answers ready? Let's check in that case. The first one, 1564. Here you are. He was born. 1587. He went to London. 1603. James I became a king. The next in 1611, he went back to Stateford, the last one, 1616, he died. Activity 7, on page 164, in this activity you have to fill in gaps by using the words in the box, the words Fascination, excitement, poetry, discipline, decade, similarity, several, reception, concept. As you know, it takes long time. You should think about every sentence. That's why I want to leave it as a home task. Please do it after our lesson. We will check next time. Let's move to the next activity. It is like discussion. Discuss the following questions. According to the rule of uh, your textbook, you should work in pairs and discuss the questions. But now we cannot do it. But I have one student's answers to the following questions. Let's listen together. Then you also record your answers and send it to your teacher. Are you ready? The first question. What is the importance of literature in education? Let's listen to the student's answer. I think that literature plays an indispensable role in education because through this, students can broaden their horizons, develop their cognitive skills and know better about particular historical events or culture. But most importantly, literature helps colossally to teach students express themselves appropriately and gain lifelong lessons, which are, in turn, the root of education. Thank you, dears. This is the answer of your peers. So, what is your answer? What do you think? What is the importance of literature in education? Please record your answers and send it to your teacher after our lesson. The second question. Which great people of the world literature do you know? Let's listen again. As for me, I consider our ancestors al Shernavoy, Abdullah Qahar, and from around the world, Jane Austen, Victor Hugo, Lev Tolstoy, Alexander Duma, Dostoevsky as greatest writers ever in world literature. All these mentioned writers worked on various genres, but each of them has exceptional characteristics and unusual style in their writings, which have been capturing hearts of millions of readers and leaving lifetime trace in world literature. Third question. Which novel is the most famous one in the world literature? Now, you listen one student's answer. But in your mind, which one is the most famous in world literature? Let's listen, then think about your answer. What is it? 
There is a wide range of popular novels in the world, and if I have to choose one, I would say this is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This is a life story of a young orphan girl. Difficulties she faced, hardships she overcame are described throughout the novel. I like this novel very much, especially the way author approach to describe Jane's thoughts. It truly awakens the reader's thoughts and feelings. Thank you. Let's move to the next question. First one. Which books have you read of the world literature? Let's listen to your peers' answer. I'm really curious about reading books, and I try to read as much as I can in my free time. I like having a go by reading diverse books. While reading, I experience a roller coaster of emotions. I read books such as Ascanio, The Awakening, Something Blue, Sense and Sensibility from the world literature. I like them all. They are phenomenal for me. Thank you. I hope you all read a lot of books from world literature. Please record about your favorite one. The next question, it's the last one. What is the similarity between Tohar Malik and other Kenan Doyle? You know, both of them are detective writers. Listen. There is the similarity between the works of Tahar Malik and Conan Doyle. They both wrote detective stories. The plot and the setting is always unusual in their works. The progression of the circumstances is unusual too. But reading these works, the reader may learn a lot and can be emerged to be more careful and attentive to life and in life. Thank you, dears. Try to answer the questions yourself and send your teacher. Today, we have to enrich your knowledge about world literature. I have listening to us. It, we can call it like listening and reading. There are mistakes in the description of the films in the photos, the films which were taken based on world literature. Find them and listen and check. Firstly, please open your notebook, write reading and listening task. And by the way, you have to make notes about mistakes for each description. Are you ready? The first one. Dracula was a vampire who lived in a castle in Poland. He always slept during the day, but at night he became a vampire and drank vodka. There are two mistakes here. Please try to find out it. And right? Thank you. You know, Abraham Stoker lived from 1847 till 1912 was an Irish author the best known today for his horror novel, Dragula. He is the author of this novel. The next. Alice followed a white cat down a hole and had lots of adventures. There is one mistake. Did you find? Thank you. Charles Lewis Donson leave it from 1832 till 1898. Better known by his pen name Lewis Carroll, was an English writer of children's fiction, notably Alice's Adventure in Wonderland. The next. The next. Dr. Frankstein created a monster. The monster was very handsome and people loved it. There are two mistakes. Did you find? Thank you. Victor Frankstein is the main character in Mary Shelley's novel, Frankstein. We discussed William Shakespeare a lot, as you know. Romeo and Juliet were 40 years old 
Their families hated each other, but Romeo and Juliet fell in love and got married. Their families were very pleasant, and Romeo and Juliet lived happily together. There are three mistakes. Did you find? Good job. Let's listen and check your answers. A. Dracula didn't live in a castle in Poland. He lived in Transylvania. And at night, he became a vampire. But he didn't drink vodka. He drank blood, as everyone knows. B. Alice didn't follow a white cat. She followed a white rabbit. But she certainly had lots of adventures. C. It's true that Dr. Frankenstein created a monster. But the monster wasn't handsome. It was very ugly, and people didn't love it. They were very frightened of it. They hated it. D. Romeo and Juliet weren't 40. They were 14 years old, very young. It's true that their families hated each other and that the two young people fell in love and got married. But, of course, their families weren't pleased. They were very angry, and Romeo and Juliet didn't live happily together. They killed themselves. Thank you so much. I hope you all checked your answers. It is time for your homework. The first one. As usual, make a list of vocabulary which you have learned today. The second, activity 7, as I said, on page 164. Fill in gaps with the words in the box. Please don't forget to send your homework to your teacher and get their feedbacks. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.